Yeah. <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. We have another live wire video for you today. Yo, this is a beautiful bike, man. We'll start with the video. We'll start by thanking James from Bergen and Harley Davidson for allowing me to take this bike for a full day, getting the full feel of this bike, not just on a little 20 minute ride or so, but I got this bike for a full day, man. Amazing. Amazing things that are coming to the channel, guys. I have so much stuff planned. I can't wait to share everything with you. <laughs> it sounds like a TIE fighter. Oh, this is so cool. So if you haven't seen my review video on this bike, I'm gonna link it up at the end. You can watch the full in-depth review, riding review of the bike. Really enjoyed making that video and I really hope that everyone's enjoying watching that video. Now I wanted to go ahead and have a little discussion video on why I think the live wire is here to stay. I don't see the live wire going anywhere. I don't see, you know, Harley Davidson getting rid of the live wire the way they did with the FXDR or other numerous bikes that they had on the, um, on the roster. Um, main point of that being is because this is brand new technology here. The amount of technology that this bike comes with, it's all in the review video. If you want to see it, like I said before, watch the review video. We're not get it, gonna get it into all that right now. But the amount of technology that this bike has is everything that all customers have been asking Harley Davidson to do. And we now have all this technology bottled up into this bike here. And on top of that, it's all electric, no gas. That means that there's no, no money spent on services guys the only thing you're going to be worrying about is just brake pads or brake fluid that's it nothing else for maintenance on this bike so a lot of money you're going to earn right there now a big reason why i think this bike is here to stay is because they just entered a new segment then all electric segment and i think harley davidson is going to do with the live wire and the future live wires to come out what tesla has done within the last five years or so five or ten years with with their company they reinvented the car game and i think that's what what harley davidson is going to do they're going to reinvent the motorcycle game and yes this bike is priced at a very very high price point around thirty thousand dollars yes that is a lot but for those thirty thousand dollars you're getting a lot of stuff in here a lot of technology that no other Harley Davidson bike has. And at the end of the day, it is all, all electric. So you're saving on gas, you're not spending any money on gas, you're not spending any money on services. Close throttle, you're gone, that's it. There, there's nothing to it. And I'm telling you, I've, I've had the bike for, a, for the whole day already, and I am not tired of riding it. I went home and I had something to eat and I left and I just wanted to jump right on the bike. Like it's it's really really that much fun and it picks up anywhere you want to talk about torque and any uh, other Harley Davidson it is nothing I'm re let me repeat that again if you want to talk about torque on any other bike nothing is nothing compared to this right here this is power that when you want it right when you want it baby now i'm gonna make a big bold prediction here so this bike does around 105 110 miles uh on a full charge after that obviously you gotta charge it back up um and i'm gonna make a really bold prediction right here for the future now that we're talking about battery life if they're able to manage a way to get that battery life up to 200 miles or even 300 miles or whatever it may be a big number then i definitely see the live wire transforming itself onto every platform on the harley roster so there's going to be a, a live wire for the sportster category a live wire for the soft tail category and yes a live wire for the touring category can you imagine going cross country on a bagger that's fully electric with good suspension 
quiet noise. Obviously, you're not going to have the rumble most of the time, which obviously it's what we ride for most of the time. We love the rumble. But you have the quiet and you have the open road right in front of you. Well, you have the luxury of just a quiet motorcycle with a wide open road ahead of you. Crossing the country, state to state. Now that's something else right there. And I honestly think that's what they're gonna try to aim for within the next 10 years or so, maybe less. I, I, really, I really believe in that. Also just due to the fact that everyone's really trying to just, you know, correct the carbon footprint. All these companies are also having to do things different on cars and motorcycles now due to the emission standards everywhere. So little by little, companies are scaling down and the electric way is just a way to just get away from all that, have even more power on these machines. And at the same time, you're not polluting the world. You're not polluting the earth. There's no chemicals flowing out of here right now. There's no smoke. And now the more you talk to people, the more people want to go greener, they want to eat healthier, they're, you know, there's a lot of people that are taking the extra step uh, to just take care of the world. And going electric, obviously, is one of the main points that people want to follow and abide by. Now, that is not to say that I'm going to get rid of my 2020 Lowrider S and get one of these. Even though I love this bike, I love the way it handles, I love the way it rides, I see this bike as a alternative, as a secondary bike. If this bike, if, if Harley Davidson was able to bring this bike down, make another one very similar to this, but put it like in the teens, let's say like 15K around there, 16, they would probably sell a whole bunch. And a lot of people would probably have one of these as a secondary bike. I'm pretty, pretty sure of that. Drop your thoughts down below and let me know what you think. Um, I want to show you guys a few clips right now. Right now, I'm riding out to Secaucus. Um, we're going to go stop by uh, Camillo's shop because he, he wanted to see the bike. So I want to see what Camillo and G think about this all-electric bike. They ride baggers, so for them, it's going to be like, whoa, like, what the hell? And I'm going to show you guys another clip of this other kid that i pulled up into uh this shop right around my house and uh they they freaked out i pulled over and they were like dude is, is the bike still on i'm like yeah it's on <laughs> they couldn't believe it so awesome people just they, they keep looking at this bike everywhere i go and they their jaws drop they love the design of it um they, they're, they're just super surprised of the fact that it's just a quiet bike and, and it's all electric people just can't get over the fact that harley davidson has made it an all electric bike um and it, th that's the funny thing is that a lot of people don't know still you know if, if you are well in tune with the motorcycle community yes you're you're aware of what's going on but for the normal person who's you know not really into motorcycles or doesn't ride they, they don't know that harley davidson has an all electric bike I've got like three or four different people today with the same impression. They're like, what? I, I, I didn't even know that. How is that possible? And they're like super surprised. This is why this bike is perfect for dipping in and out of lanes. It's very narrow, very, very nimble. You're able to throw this bike around anywhere. It's a fun little toy. Ooh, brand new roads. <laughs> Yo. Bro. Up that bike, beast. Bro. I've heard, I've heard. You have no idea. Alright guys, we're here at uh, Camillo's Barbershop and here with G. You guys seen him before in the group videos. 
So I just wanted to ask him for his first opinion. Um, have you seen one before in person? Uh, yeah, not not close up, like at the dealership. At the dealership? Stuff, I've never rode one or anything before. What do you think about it? It looks, it looks amazing, bro. It looks a little weird, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's different, you know? But it looks, it looks dope, man. And I've seen one, like, fly by right in front of me at a Harley dealership in PA on my way to West Virginia. And you didn't hear anything, right? And it was like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it flies. I know these bikes fly. Oh my god, you have no idea, man. But they look dope, man. Brembo brakes. Brembo brakes on everything. Uh, show suspension front and rear. You got the mono shock right there, fully adjustable. Wow. Different riding modes. There's a rain mode, there's a sport that, mode. That's the one thing that Harley's missing on the other bikes. But that's one thing I bought up because I'm always complaining about what they can have. This has all the technology that you could want from a sport bike on a cruiser. And it's, it's on this. Everything's on here, bro. It's like a cruiser and a sport bike had a baby. That's what this looks like. Exactly. Exactly what it is. But, uh, in an electric to, form. They got to start putting that on the other bikes, bro. Like, can, dude, can you imagine that on the touring frames? That's what I've fucking been dying for, bro. That'd be dope. But I think it looks amazing, bro. Okay. All right. So, G already told me what, you, what he thought about the bike. What do you think? Wow. <laughs> it's like the Dark Knight in person. <laughs> this thing is serious. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can I take a picture? Very, very nice. Yeah, of course. Take, take a picture. picture like, oh, yeah. You like it? There you go. That was your phone. Where's your phone so I can take a picture? Yeah. My phone's inside. I'll take a picture. You got a phone, man? I never had a phone when I was your age. Look at that. What you, what you think about that bike, man? You like it? <laughs> the suspension, so it's fully adjustable from the back. Wow. Yeah. Bro, you should got one. I gotta test drive it first and we'll see how it goes. You know me, I like to buy new toys all the time, so facts. Two point six seconds on sport mode. It looks like they took a car radiator and they just, and they just right there, just stand right in front. Later, buddy. Have a good one. Listen, when, when you when you get bigger, you get yourself one of these, okay? Yeah, I know. I, that's why I said to my grandma, but she said no. I'm gonna get one. That's a Harley Davidson. So look it up when you get home, okay? It's so on. Still on. Yeah. What is that, electric? Yeah. yeah. Harley makes electric? Yeah, it's a brand new one. Where's this guy at? I was just texting him. Oh, that's you? Yeah. Oh, shit. Now, nah, my boy was here. I, I, I thought he was sitting here and that he has the same bike. Oh, yeah. That, yo, that's, you gotta put a, you gotta put a muffler on it. Nah, it's electric, dude. I know, but you can't put a muffler? Nah, nah, it's electric. That's it. It's been out for like half a year. Like 45 minutes on a supercharger. Right now it's on. Oh wait, is there gears or? Nah, it's automatic, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> That's it, dude. That's it. That's it. It's quiet, man. It sounds like a TIE fighter. It's like scary on the street, though. Yeah, it's quiet. No, no, nobody hears you coming, you know? But it's fun. Is it fast? Hell yeah. It's like 0 to 16 with like 2.6 seconds. Uh, it's no, they, they don't measure in CCs, but I mean, I, I hit, I hit like 115 right now on the highway, like nothing, within like seconds. They said it was 110, but I, I did 115, so I, it might top out like 120 if anything. That's just mad fucking money, dude. They gave it to me for the day. Yeah. Too, you don't have heat coming up, you know? Nah, nothing. It's cool, man. Alright, guys. So, there you go. People just look at this bike and they just really can't wrap their brain around it. Uh, the fact of everything that this bike comes with, the looks of it and everything, and for what it is, it's a... Uh, 
a work of art, man. It's a masterpiece. Let me know your thoughts below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think the lock wire is here to stay? Or do you think it's just bad? Do you think it's just not going to work out at all? Also, what do you think Harley Davidson should do different with this bike? Um, I'm curious to know your thoughts and everything. I'm going to keep enjoying my day. It is a beautiful day riding on this quiet but special live wire. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe right now. Hit that bell button to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.